Oh, bit of a zoom into his eyeball there. Oh, oh. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But. Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morin, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorveth can wait. Want me to go with you? Yeah. The company'd be nice. I'd love your company. Hmm. All right, then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Ah, I just saw Shut your traps! Happens Stop to have bloody morning down there! Stumbled across that damn... Uh, Coffer's dozed off. Elven wakey, ruin. wakey, Coffer! You'll fall asleep forever any day now. See you guys, I got some elven baths to go to. Bye! <laughs> I assume that's where we're going. <clears throat> that's the only elven rooms I've managed to stumble across so far. And there were some nice flowers growing there. Now it says to follow Triss. Now do I follow Triss or does she follow me? Nope, I follow Triss again. So once again, shopping might have to wait. So, what about that bonus? You know what, Tristan? You just run on ahead. I really just can't help myself. What? Uh, do I have anything to sell, first of all? A robust cutlass or a superb cutlass? 16 to 22. So we can sell the robust one. Surplus to requirements. We can sell the rusty da daggers. Because we have our own crafted, superb, well-balanced ones. And uh, what else can we sell? Bear uh, <laughs> with me. De -de -de -de. Do some nice little jingly music for you to listen to while I peruse the menus here. Some rags and bits, and ropes and ladders. There we go. Okay, that's done. 1,137 orans. Right, let's see what he has to, s to sell to us here. We don't want any of his weapons. This superb cutlass is, is a much better sword than I have at the moment. I'm tempted to swap it out now for that Mahakaman Rune Suhil. I think it's run its course. Uh, Rusty Daggers. Sheardal's Armour. That looks like a pretty nice piece. Plus 8 to armour. Plus 12% uh, resistance to bleeding, 12% resistance to poisoning, and plus 4 bonus damage on signs. Now I need to check my current armour. And just double check what that bonus is here. Oh no, Hunter's armour, plus 11. 
Although that might be due to the enhancement that I have on it, I'm not sure. No, I think this is still better. Some vitality, some... Um, yeah, this is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed, so I think we'll keep this for now. We should send. Okay, okay, let's continue on with our shopping. <clears throat> he has some enhancements. We can actually purchase runes from him, but they're very expensive, so I think we'll craft our own runes basically. I have the Yskith rune formula. Maybe I would get the the sun rune formula. No, the fire rune's better. The sun rune only has plus five percent to damage the, the fire rune here as a plus five percent of damage and some also some incineration stuff so if i get the fire rune diagram as well i'm not too bothered about the earth rune for now or the, the moon rune i have to go to the dwarven craftsman for that so we'll have a look at those before we leave he has some diagrams for some robust cloth actually and studded leather also hardened leather, so these are like upgrades to normal leather. These might prove to be useful in some diagram, some uh, diagrams, but not really a necessity. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Right. Flotsam's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Yeah, well, I've just killed a Karen buddy. Somehow, I don't think your town guard would have done that. Just bear with me, uh, Triss. I'm just just popping up here for a moment. Bertold. So, how can we help you, eh? Bit more trading. Just double, triple checking that there's nothing else. Robust leather, nah. Right. You see these meteorite ores, blue meteorite ore, I think there's yellow and red as well. They are pretty rare crafting items. So being able to craft your own would be pretty handy at some point. Although not quite yet. This jagged blade is uh, apparently a very, very useful... Uh, silver sword. I mean, uh, steel sword. And it could well be better than the one I have. So I'm just going to check that out. It's 19 to 25 damage, which is immense. And uh, plus 15% to bleeding and plus 10% to poison. I don't know how many slots it'll have. So, so that's 19 to 25. Let's have a look. What have I got on at the moment? I have this uh, Mahakaman. You see, that's only 11 to 13. So it gets to a point where you begin to think, well, even though it's got more slots and I've used all my runes on it, is it now worth getting a new sword just for the increased damage than sticking with this just because it's got a few extra perks? Uh... What runes do I have? I have a sun rune and a fire rune, and I could craft a Yskith rune again, if needs be. So I think we're going to have to craft that sword. I really do. So how can we help you, eh? I really do think we're going to have to craft that sword. And a Yskith rune as well. Um. So that's the Jagged Blade. That's 271. So I'll buy that. We'll have to craft it. Um, I don't think I have the Sun Rune. The Fire Rune. Do we have Fire Rune here? Yeah, the Fire Rune diagram. We don't have that either. That'll be definitely handy to craft. Craft my own Fire Runes. Yep, take that. And uh, we have the Iskith room already. So things are just beginning to come together nicely, I think. So 
So, Hulk. Craft me an item. So, what I want to just check the jagged blade. I have. I've got plenty of iron ore back at the base. Uh, back at the base, you know what I mean, in, in the treasure chest or whatever, storage compartments. Uh, but I am lacking in Dregger Teeth. Now, I do know that Neska in Lobbenden sells in Dregger Teeth. I could farm in Dregger Teeth from the forest, but that might take a little while. So I think I'm going to go to buy those in Dregger Teeth from Neska. And then I can craft this at 140 orans. And where's the Yiskith rune? Where's the Yiskithrune? Yiskithrune, I need... I can craft that now. So if I craft the Yiskithrune now... And, uh, the Jagged Blade. So yeah. Get an Esker. I need another 13 Iron Ore from the storage. 3 Endrega Teeth from Lobbenden. And then we're done. And we'll keep Triss waiting. <laughs> and then I think that might just be it for shopping. The bombs that I we're going to buy from Cedric might just have to wait. Maybe someone. Will... Might just have to wait. Okie dokie. So. First of all, just going to double check, nothing that we can put away to lighten our load. It's going to be crafting items, isn't it really? Cloth, for instance, store some cloth away. Don't think we need cloth for our weapon. And Dregger hide, more and Dregger hide. Iron all we need. Karen skin, put that away for now. Leather, do we need leather? I don't think we need leather. Got four moon runes, got necrophage blood, silver ore, don't need that just yet. Timber, do we need timber? Yeah, we need one timber. Uh, we don't need any twine. Okay, good. Right. Moving swiftly across, we take some iron ore times 13. There we go, take 13 of these bad boys. Okay. Go get the Indrega teeth, and then we should be good to craft that upgraded sword before we head to the uh, the Elven Bath ruins that I was so eager to explore last time. Dee 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 dee. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. In a rush now, in a rush. Thank you, bye. In a major rush. Ho ho ho! A witcher! I thought I was going to say something about the uh, the fact that I killed the. You know what, the Karen then. Ho oh, ho ho! You've killed the Karen! But no, just oh, witcher. Girls become witches too. Oh no, here we go again. A Pied Piper of Children dance. Alaska, hello again. Do you have believe? I'm led to believe that you have endrega teeth. Oh ooh, yes, you have four. I need three. How handy is that? How expensive are they? 51 orans each. Wow. 212 orans. Uh, let's just hope that I can afford to craft that sword. I, hope, I think it was, 100, was it 150 to craft it. I'm hoping so. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have to find a way to make a bit more money. I have to sell some excess rubbish. Become witches too?
find it quite amusing that whenever you get money in this game, <laughs> normally I'm a person that doesn't like to spend in RPG. They don't like to spend unnecessarily on things, but this game seems to be you get a bit of cash in your in your in your coffers and straight away it just goes. Boof. But it's not as if I'm buying rubbish, I'm buying really useful stuff. So how can we help you, eh? Craft me an item. That jagged blade. Yes, thank you. The jagged blade shall be ours. There we go. And we have two slots, so we can put in the Yiski Throne. And we can put in the Fire Rune as well. If I can find it. So there we go. 21 to 28 damage, plus 20 resistance to incineration, plus 10 incineration, plus 23% to bleeding, and plus 10% to poison. And 21, you know, it's, it's a massive upgrade that really. Can't believe I didn't really notice it until now. But yeah. So these two swords, pretty nifty, nice and upgraded. New trophy as well. Could perhaps do with a new armor enhancement <clears throat> to stick on my, on my armor. Just double check that I haven't already got that. Fiber and armor. Not really the best, are they? I think I'll hold out a little bit longer for those. Right. Lovely. So I'm decked out in some new equipment. Always a nice feeling. Let's get cracking for the Elven Ruins. Join me for that next time. See you soon.